this new law is essentially requiring that the Department of Community Health provide information mm -hmm. for athletes, students, coaches, basically everybody involved in concussions and youth sports uh, so that everybody is up to date on what information is out there. Um, it necessitates that uh, these students are removed from play if they experience anything that could potentially be a concussion. It also mandates that the patients, uh, that the students see a healthcare provider before they're allowed to return to play. Um, and it's all in the name of safety for these kids. And I think the important point is that it's really raising the awareness of what a concussion is and the consequences of concussion, both short-term and long-term. And I think uh, more and more we're finding out more and more long-term problems that can occur if an athlete isn't allowed to adequately recover uh, from a concussion. I, I think that when a con an athlete is concussed, their brain is injured. The brain isn't working well. And we found a number of things can happen if that brain gets re-injured before it has a chance to recover. There's some short-term things that can happen. Their symptoms can get worse. There's a, uh, an entity called the second impact syndrome where if the brain receives another blow before it's recovered, the athlete can undergo a very serious injury and even death if that occurs. But I think more importantly, if that brain's not allowed to recover, those longer term consequences that can occur, learning difficulties, sleep difficulties, different behavioral things, uh, and even things that can occur very later in life. It's important because even with all the research that we have up to this point, we don't know everything there is to know about concussions. We don't know all the long-term effects of a concussion. Uh, we don't know what the effect of cumulative small or minor blows to the head may cause. Uh, I think it's important that uh, these kids are uh, evaluated and, and treated uh, just again for for the safety of the kids these are these are kids they're growing they're developing uh, we don't want to have any long-term problems for them or cause any uh, long-term effects uh, in a grown child well sport really has sought to bring together the best available information that we have on concussion using the CDC's Heads Up program and another number of other programs throughout the country and tried to put them into an organized program, an organized way we in the community can approach concussion. Uh, in Midland, we started a program last year where we do a standardized sideline concussion evaluation, which involves reviewing symptoms, putting the athlete through some maneuvers and some physical exam things on the sideline to help detail the exact nature of the injury. And then we can follow those details along as the athlete goes through the recovery period. That's involved community education in various uh, settings, talking with coaches, athletes, parents about the importance of concussion, and laying out a logical approach from the diagnosis of concussion to the medical follow-up concussion to an organized return to play where we actually put the athlete through a number of stages which gradually challenge the athlete both physically and mentally to know that they truly are recovered, that symptoms don't recur as they get challenged more and more. And if they complete that return to play, we at least feel that to, for our best available evidence that that athlete is ready to return to full competition.